Hello and welcome to Piano Shack with me, Woody. In today's video then, I thought I'd share with you some practice ideas when using arranger workstations like this PSR that we have over here. They can be quite an inspiring, inspiring and fun way to enhance your practice sessions. So I'll show you how we can use these styles to accompany ourselves, how we can adjust and dial in the sounds to get them a little bit more to our taste, the various keyboard modes so that it follows and recognizes the chords that you're playing. And I think you might be surprised just how good the electric pianos and Hammond organs sound on this particular instrument. I was quite amazed myself looking forward to sharing that with you today. So hopefully this video will give you some ideas and inspiration about practicing yourself. Let's uh, get started and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, the first practice idea that I have for you today is a simple keyboard split and we'll use the Yamaha here as a drum machine basically. So on the right hand, oh sorry I queued it up there. Let's. Uh show you what was going on here. Got a piano and a flat wound bass on the left which is absolutely gorgeous. So here I'm practicing really my left right hand independence and uh, let's just cue that up again and I'll tell you, well, I'll show you what it sounds like. Okay, we can cue up different variations on the groove. What I can find I can do actually, I can play advanced stuff with my left or advanced stuff with my right, but not both at the same time. So this is the kind of thing I'm working on right, right now. We've got a two to the five thing going on here, which I use a lot of the time. Now another thing we can do here, I've prepared this in advance, all of the sounds I'm playing for you I've tweaked myself. I'm not really using too many of the factory sounds, I've gone in and adjusted the effects for example. But on this right hand part I've prepared, this is a cool feature of the PSR, I can layer it up so we get an even thicker sound. So we can add a Rhodes, we can add a DX7 for a really massive sound. sure what that riff is. Perhaps you recognised the simply red theme going on there. This is a lovely sound and if we don't want the split for any reason all we have to do is switch that part off there and then we have this absolutely massive LA piano style sound going across the whole keyboard. I would love to use the sustain pedal but I have that mapped to a different parameter right now. We'll talk about that a bit later. You'll see me using the registration memory today during these performances. So I've saved eight different uh, programs here, eight different slots. There are many more banks you can program as well but this is just one bank and I'm storing things like all the front panel settings, the style, the sounds, even things like what I've assigned the knobs to, the foot pedals and that kind of thing, so it's a pretty powerful thing. The sharp eyed amongst you may have noticed that the freeze button is on as well. What's this for? Well this means that I can have some setting on the keyboard here and I want this to be held even as I change registrations. So what I've done here is told the freeze to remember the live controls, that's these two, the foot pedal function, and the assignable buttons, that's these here, so that as I change registrations it actually remembers what I'm currently using instead of overriding it with whatever I've saved in the memory. This is another really useful and convenient feature. It seems like Yamaha have left no stone unturned. 
Every conceivable feature you need for performing with this thing live is here. It's actually quite impressive. Right, what do we have in number two? Oh, we've got a clavinet. Okay, so what's going on here? We have a... I'm actually using the accompaniment here as well. That's interesting, but we have a pretty nice drum groove. Listen to that. When I mentioned these assignable buttons, I can take away the drums. There's actually really nice percussion here. Let's bring in the drums. And this does indeed make practicing a whole lot of fun. But I see we have the accompaniment here as well. And I'm using a mode where the PSR here will scan across the whole keyboard. In a lot of demos, you see guys just using their left hand playing chords with a keyboard split to trigger the right chords. I actually prefer full keyboard scanning mode. Uh, full keyboard AI, it's called. So it will actually figure out, based on what I'm doing, anywhere on the keyboard, what chord to play in the background. Let's try this out. Let's get a little sync start here going. So you can hear the guitars coming in there. And the bass as well. And that means I can do pretty much whatever I like here, just as if it was a normal keyboard or piano and the Yamaha will do its utmost to accompany me. And it does a pretty good job. So let's uh, take a listen here. I'm just going to recall the registration because I've messed around with it. Let's start it up. You do have to keep the left hand fairly simple or it does get a little bit confused. So let's do that. mind this is my practice routine that I'm sharing with you now but the clavinet is quite an interesting instrument you've got to be exactly so precise with the timing otherwise it just sounds sloppy and really awful which it probably did for you right now there but um but this is a really neat clavinet sound I've put it through an auto wire also some guitar distortion the drums on this are really amazing. Take a listen. As you've noticed, I like to switch off many of the instruments to give a simple style, which leaves me a little bit more space to do my own improvisations. But the whole purpose of this exercise is just to get me playing tight and in time and locked into the groove, which is pretty hard to do, but a really important skill to have. Next, and I don't remember what we have here. Okay, some organ thing going on here. This is using the organ emulation that's built in. I was surprised to find that here. If we click there, we have a full... Virtual modeled Hammond organ. How cool is that? We can have some percussion. I'm not really.
really sure what I'm going to use this for. Let's see what rhythms we've got going on here. So maybe you could do some kind of jams like that. That was a bit of maiden voyage there, but a pretty nice organ sound. The interesting thing about this is that I switched off the Leslie simulator, which is normally present on most of the organs here, to give you a very raw sound. And I've ran it through a guitar amp simulator as well. This has some really cool vintage effects that are modeled with a visual control panel. I'll see if I can dial that up for you now and show you what it looks like. That's actually a nicer display. There we go. Come on. There we go. That's what it looks like. And you can tweak all of these controls. Everything is physically or circuit modeled. So you can tweak it exactly how you like. And it sounds pretty damn nice. <laughs> okay, on the next slot here then, I have an... Really nice bass and a acoustic piano again. <laughs> I think this is going to be in the same key. Let's see what we've got here. We'll cue something up. Uh, foot pedal which you can't see but I can trigger a fill whenever I like so we can do something like this So that's the kind of thing I'm jamming around on this particular patch. Again, really fun. The bass is so lovely and dynamic. I've run it through a compressor to fatten it up a little bit. And also changed it to monophonic, so you can't play chords. That sounds so good. Okay, pretty cool. Yes, love that a lot. Now, what we have here is a road sound going on, and I did make this one myself. These are not the factory presets. I tweaked it to my own liking, so I added a bit of compression and a nice bit of distortion to give it a bit of crunch. You can hear. Actually really impressed with this road sound. And I'm using some accompaniment here as well. And the interesting thing going on here, take a listen. It's doing the chords for me. We have accompaniment switched on here. It's doing the chords. So 
I can just play along. Change it up a bit. And I can use these to bring parts in and out. doing that? Well I'm using the chord looper function. Let's jump into there and you can see I've programmed a sequence of chords but that's probably a topic for another video but that's quite nice because it frees you up. You don't have to worry about triggering the right chords as you're playing. You do that in advance. It's very simple to record a sequence then you're free to improvise over the top of it. What a fantastic practice tool. What do we have here? Accompaniment is switched off. We have a nice electric bass and a Rhodes on the top. And I think the song I had in mind here was this. So basically what I'm doing there is just this very simple split with a nice electric bass and the roads. Again, I've tweaked this to my own liking to add a little bit of grit, which is working really nicely. And I'm just using the PSR as a drum machine here. And what a drum machine. Those patterns are really incredible. So no other instruments here playing in the style. We're just using the drums. Take a listen. We could call up an ending. We're still going. Oh, I think by playing it, I re-triggered it. I'm not quite sure what happened there, but you get the general idea. A lot of fun jamming along with these drum patterns. What do we have here? I'm not sure what I was using this one for, but what a lovely Hammond sound. Thank you. 
world there. But what a beautiful Hammond organ. And again, we've got a split here going on. With my left hand, I've got one set of draw bars, which you can see there. And on the right, using another. Very slightly different. With a little bit of Leslie as well. Put those in. Let's see, get the drums going again. So we're not using any of the style accompaniment except for the drums. registration it seems like I have programmed a drawbar organ again let's have a listen Okay, what I'd really like to do there actually is program the foot pedal to do the Leslie, the rotary organ speed. You could easily do that using one of the registrations here, but remember I've overridden it to do a fill, which I seem to be getting in all the wrong places in that particular example. I'm sorry if the playing was a little bit ropey, but remember this is my practice session that I'm sharing with you, and I hope it gave you some ideas about what to practice yourself to improve your craft. That's the most important thing at the end of the day, and of course, have a lot of fun whilst you're doing it. I'll see you next time. Cheerio.